so here it is this is what it's looking like and as I say you might not want to have a ruffled cushion or pillow sham as I was showing you before this is the one at the back and so this is the, the pillow itself I'm in the sewing room so that is the pillow with the sham there but um, that's what it's looking like so if you care to learn to make ruffles it really wasn't about the cushion it was about teaching you or showing you how to make some ruffles and here I have also used it on this shower curtain that I made for my bathroom okay just a minute hello good afternoon this is Sharon from everything beautiful so this is part two of the double ruffled cushion that I am doing and I'm sorry I didn't get around to be um, to finish it or to let you have part two earlier but I've decided that I will do that today now I'll be actually I'll actually be pleating it on the machine and why I'm able to do that is because I've mastered it. Now, as I explained in part one, whenever you're practicing, then, you know, you have to be patient, you have to get your work neat and so forth. And so my students, I teach them to pin and baste and to form the pleats properly. But because I'm a professional, I'm not showing off, then I'll show you. When you also have mastered it, this is what you will do, okay? So there are a few there that still has the pins and I won't remove them until I'm finished but I'll show you how I do it and I think this is in, in interior decorating I think it's called screwdriver you would put a screwdriver underneath it and then you will pleat but I'm just doing it freehand okay. So here we go. And as I said, the pins are there. And remember, we're stitching in the, we're stitching right in, and I'm using the white thread still, so that you will be able to see what I am doing. Okay, remember that line, you're going to stitch the pleats in that line also. That line, that stitch line very important so i am not in my sewing room and so this is a little bit dark but i decided that this is where i will just do this and um you know okay so that's it so i'm gonna start and thin right. you have to push it a little bit now this is not the um the high power machine so the pleats are, are, are a little bit um there's a little bump there with the pleats you have to push them a little bit okay. so, there it is Let's go. and now i'm going to show you one without the pin so what i'll do i will pleat it like this and then I'll stitch and then i'll pleat again I'll stitch pleat until it is finished so pleat stitch you actually start forming the other pleat before you finish stitching one okay so you don't come to the end of one before you start forming the other okay you just come halfway so we have a little bump there so that is why that is resisting okay so that's how it is done. Okay. And, um, I didn't um, finish putting the and because of that. 
that I am going to make a few more pleats so you will understand so there it is you form the pleat and then you stitch form stitch form stitch form stitch. So that's how it is done and I hope you will practice it is practice becomes perfect thank you for watching hello good morning this is sharon from everything beautiful so i'm here and i'm going to finish um the uh cushion the double um ruffled cushion today so here is it it is what i've done is that i've decided not to make it as big as um uh, I, as I was going to um, you know it doesn't make any sense um, it's going on the guest bed um, and um, I have a lot of pillows on there already and as a matter of fact I actually have the cushion that is ready to go in this case so it doesn't make sense I do a big one so I've cut down the size and this is the size so this is the front so you would actually call this a throw cushion okay it's a throw cushion and let me give you the measurement so it is um 19 inches the length remains the same by 11 and what i did i folded it in two so here it is i just double it in two because i'm going to cut the back for it so I didn't want to use the other piece for the back it wasn't enough to make an overlap and an overlap I've already showed you on the pillow sham how it's the how it is so um, I just fold this fabric in two I place this that I fold it into also here I give it a little extension of about an inch and a half right there and that is going to be where I'm going to stitch to go in you know the inside there so you'd call that maybe the hemline so that's it and um so this let me go back over this this i've doubled the front of the cushion and i've placed it on a piece of fabric and i folded about an inch and a half to one side and then i folded six and a half inches to the other side um because um, it's going to be pushed in the cushion is going to be pushed in into in the case and so you want it to be properly covered and that is why I have the extra hair let me bring it a little closer so I'll actually be um, stitching here also so let me just cut it open so you'll see the back Here it is. Let me get back to you just a minute. Okay, so I am here with the front of the cushion and I've put on the um, the ruffle um, on it. But let me first quickly say thank you to two new subscribers that I got this week. I'm very excited. I appreciate it. And even though it's two, um, it means a lot to me because I've been struggling at 25 for quite a while and another thing I want to say what I'm doing here it's not only for, um, for women men also does interior decorating so you young men out there if you're watching my channel and you're interested in interior decorating um, let me know so I can do more of these videos the craft is dying and I'm certainly here at home not doing much these days um, because there is no work um, you know because of the lockdown in Jamaica and uh, my talent is just going to waste I'd like to impart and leave some knowledge with you before I leave this world so help me to grow this channel um by subscribing and letting me do some more of these videos okay so thank you so here i am i have um put on the the um the the the, the ruffle around the cushion now let me explain let me give you a few tips whenever you're putting on any border ruffle on something don't start in the corner always start in the middle of the widest part so here it is I started here okay and I actually close it a little different another thing you must turn the right side of the cushion 
um, to you. So this is the right side on the wrong side goes to the table. So the right side faces you. Another thing is that you must um, put on the ruffle this way. So they come into the cushion and you see all the corners they are nicely there they are nicely formed okay because I pin them and when you put on the back this is what it's going to be looking like and let me say also that these um, pleats that I'm doing it's not only for these cushions we did them a lot when we were growing up but they're not really being used a lot now okay so um, so that is what it's going to be looking like so let me just put it back inside because I am going to put on the back. So you still bring back everything together. And remember, you must be in base if you are inexperienced to get it this neat. Okay, so here is the back. So first I'm going to put, I have to curve the corner of this also. So let me show you there because I had curved the corner of the other, of the front. Okay, so this is two pieces of back. And... Uh, I am curving the corners and as I was saying the pleats that I've done here it's not only for these cushions they can be used also on kitchen curtains bathroom curtains um, spread and um, how else can you use them and also if you're doing a nursery a baby's nursery this is ideal so um, even though they're not being used much um, like when I was growing um, or when I was younger um, you still um, will use them you know as I said it's nice on the kitchen curtain and uh, let me show you this again I have I've done a different type of closing here so there it is I overlap it but if you notice I have a little raw edge there so that is going to be tucked underneath there okay so I'm going to pin that Okay, so it stays underneath there and it won't show because there it is and um, let me put on the back stitch it and let you see what it's looking like and then I'm also going to show you here I have done now this is single but if you notice it's the box one so here it is the box one and this is single the um, as I was saying, here it is. I have used it on this shower curtain also. So you can see it there. So it's just about customizing your stuff. Okay, thank you for watching.